Ladies and gents, thanks for clicking on the video. So in this double bill, I'm going to be taking you to two beautiful places I visited in Snowdonia last year. First up is the beautiful Folgrak. We spent a night just off the summit of Folgrak and had a perfect day and a clear night. So stay tuned, come and enjoy the video. It's certainly an epic one. Sunset, sunrises, cloud inversion. In fact, I'm not going to tell you too much. You'll see. Welcome to Dave Outdoors. So ladies and gents, welcome back then. So the ascent has scare started from the off. Whew. Get this lockdown gut out of the way. But anyway, we're making our way up to the blue, beautiful Folgrak area. And we're gonna try and tap out at Carnet Llewellyn. Two nights wild camping. So thank you ever so much, Dia, for letting us out again. <laughs> We're making our way up here though for tonight. I mean, there's Carnet Llewellyn and Folgrax just here, but we're gonna try and camp on this ridge up here maybe, or just beyond over by a pool. So at least we've got a water source then. So yeah, we're in the beautiful Snowdonia. Uh, the clag's coming in just over Trefan, which we can see over the ridge there. And the clag's coming in also over Carnet Llewellyn. Now you've just, as you've just seen, we're gonna enjoy a cracking night and hopefully tomorrow it'll be uh, a little bit more sunnier. Done in. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and click the little bell notification next to it. Ascended very quickly here. <sighs> certainly uh, feeling good. And again, certainly feeling really out of shape. I thought after uh, last weekend's walk with a Shropshire lad, I thought, right, this is it. We're gonna be a little bit more fitter here. Yeah, not happening really. So ladies and gents, we've made it for tonight then. This is our spot we're gonna be camping in and this is our view. So we've got all the low cloud just rolling in over here from Ogwin Valley area. But luckily it's gonna be missing us and it's going over in that direction. But what a stunning place. So with it being only quarter to four then, we're gonna take a bimble up to Folgrak which is just up here where that mound of rocks is. There's also a little shelter up there as well, so we might try and get in from the wind, maybe make a coffee or something. But yeah, we're certainly gonna be coming back here later on tonight, and we're gonna uh, pitch base here. <laughs> and there's the top of Folgrak. Okay, so we're just on the top of Folgrak now. Uh, as always, when you touch the summit, you know the rules by now. Chill yourself out with a nice IPA. So here we go then. The Cairn of Folgrak. 976 meters above sea level. And you can just make out Anglesey over in the corner over there. But tomorrow morning, we're going up there. 1,064 meters above sea level. Now as a spin round, tonight we're just gonna go and find a pitch down here which will be out the wind. 
So there's a northeasterly wind tonight, so we need to be out of that, although the, the wind is dropping through the night. So we're going to come back up here for sunset. That should be setting over here somewhere. And then as we make our way round, when I was up here a few years ago with Ben and John, uh, the sunset was over here somewhere. But look at all this low cloud, you can just see as well. Stunning little place. So when I was here last time, I was up here with um, with Ben and Tamps. We came up here and it was all clagged in. We had none of these views. It was all wet. It was horrible. But yeah, look at it now. <laughs> Loving it. And so here's home for tonight then. Right here. So we're literally just at the foot of, or we're at, we are actually on Folgrac, but at the foot of. So the mountain shelter's just here as well. But yeah, what a view we have. So tents are all set up now. And I'm just about to get some tea on. So tonight's choice for tea is another spicy pork noodles. So that's what I had last week, it was really nice. And then on a recommendation from Richie Wild Astro, custard apple crunch. And then for breakfast, scrambled egg with cheese. So I'm interested to see what that's like. So I'm hoping it's going to turn out nice. But yeah, what a view and what a sunset it's going to be. Anyway, I'm going to get my tea on because I'm bloody Marvin. If you fancy helping out an independent business, why not head on over to thefellstore.com where the owner Hannah is offering a generous 15% discount on all dehydrated and boil bag meals. Some very good product names in there ranging from Summit to Eat, Firepot, Tent Meals, Wayfarer, Adventure Food. So come on then guys, head on over, use the discount code DAVEOUTDOORS15 at the checkout and support a brilliant independent business. This is absolutely awesome to see. Got a bit of cloud just rolling in now. So the time's quarter past eight, sun's just about to go down and we're just about to head up here and have a beer on the summit of Folgerac. So this is the actual highest point I've ever camped since uh, since doing wild camping. Um, 970 whatever it was, I'll put it on the screen now, but yeah, and it's warm. There is a nice breeze coming through still, but it is warm, but check that out for a view behind me. So you've got the Irish Sea just here, so you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's an absolute boatload of wind turbines in the, in the sea there. Anyway, we're about to head up top for a beer, so we'll see you up the top.
So good morning, everybody. Check this out. Cloud inversion. So that's it then. We're just about ready to leave. As always, leave no trace. So no litter, no crap, nothing left about. So where we camped was here, here, and then John was just over there. So nothing but flat grass, and there's the Folgrack Mountain Shelter just here. Which still stinks. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna make our way now up to Carned Llewellyn. And then it's, uh, we've had to cut this trip short. Uh, I'm not gonna say why, but we've had to cut the trip short. Um, so we've only done the one night tonight. And then we're gonna be uh, tapping out Carned Llewellyn and then heading back to the car. We've made it then, top of Carned Llewellyn, second highest summit in Wales. And look at this for a landscape backdrop. So up the top of here, you've got a little cairn that you can sit in. We've got uh, the one with the pointy summit. I believe that's Elidio Fower. And then you can just make Snowden out here with its pointy top and its slant coming down. What an epic view all the way round up here. They always say, add to it. So we're coming down now off Carned Llewellyn. Absolute little beauty spot that is, really nice. And we're making our way over to these rocks. Just the other side is our car, but we're gonna take the path down here and make it a circular route and then round through the valley. Just a quick shout out there to uh, Danny Rush. Nice to meet you fella. Uh, stopped us in my travels, he recognised me. So uh, nice to meet you fella. Hope you have a good walk. Go steady. Enjoy the warmth as well. Bloody beautiful day. So we've left from having a coffee now. Certainly uh, well deserved that one. But we're just making our way around now this uh, other footpath that will take us straight to the Broken Dam. We will be uh, making our way past a private bothy that belongs to a rugby mountaineering club. So we'll show you that as we walk past. It's literally middle of nowhere. So uh, if you're watching this dad, pretty stag do I reckon. So there's the rugby mountaineering uh, hut. So we're not far away from the car now then. It's been a brilliant camp, brilliant walk as well. But yeah, it was nice to tap out at Folgrack again. And also not to mention my first time up at Carnet Llewellyn. Lovely to be up there. The views were, as you've seen, are just mind blowing, especially on a day like today. And John was telling me this is basically his back garden. Last time he was up there, he was in a complete whiteout, snow and uh, in the clag basically but yeah that would have been a bit of a scary experience to be in 
So the car park's just over here. So when you park your car, you've got all of this. So maybe a nice little uh, day out for the kids, especially with Lynn Igi, I think you pronounce it. Yeah, lovely little pool. Right, that's it then guys, perfect camp, back at the car now. Stunning scenery. Massive thanks to John for coming. Massive thanks to Ad. It's been a great camp, really enjoyed it. Be nice to, uh, well it's been nice to be back here again. But I'm gonna leave it here now and I'll see you on another non-lockdown adventure with me, Dave Outdoors. So there we go, one of my favourite spots in North Snowdonia, just off the summit of Folgrak. As you saw from that video, I had a great time with two other guys. I had Adam T Outdoors, who's also on YouTube, and also a good friend John as well. So, next up, where are we going to go? It's only got to be one other place in Snowdonia that's got epic views. Let's go to Kader Idris. Chin chin boss. Cheers, Cheers everybody, we made it. Absolutely bollocks. Linkau up on Kadera, just what a place. It's um, absolutely rammed here though as well. Look at all the tents. What a place. As you've probably seen coming up though, it was absolutely brutal. Them steps were, I had to stop, go again, stop, go again. It was horrendous. Felt sorry for John having to wait for me all the time, but yeah, with uh, like five cans of beer in the rucksack as well, certainly holds you down. But what a fantastic place this really is. I was just saying to John as well, if it was gonna be two nights, I'd do one night here. And then I'd make my way up onto Kader Idris for the second night, just up there. I think that's gonna be for next year though. I'm gonna finish getting my tent set up. The time is now half past six. So yeah, I'm gonna get set up, get myself all sorted, the wind's picking up. And then yeah, hopefully we're gonna uh, get some tea on. I've got something different tonight. Looking forward to trying it. So yet again, then I'm in the Banshee 200. Bloody Lanshan still hasn't turned up. I don't know what the friggin' hell's going on there, but it's been almost, well, almost four weeks now. But yeah, Banshee 200, I was out in that in Storm Ellen. That'll probably be in the last video. I haven't even touched it yet. Yeah, it's like a honey pot round here, which I haven't got a problem with because it is a beautiful spot. But if you haven't seen already, look at all the amount of tents that are here already. So I'll try and zoom in. But just over here, you've got your uh, you've got your family-sized uh, camping tent. There's three of them. 
couple of other wild campers just turning up along the ridge here and then you've got a couple of stealthy guys here in fact the one guy here he's got a drone he's just been out flying it and then me and john are just here and then you've got a couple of other guys here that i believe have just been smoking some green um and yeah they're in some half decent tents as well there's one tent just here you might see and the best spot of all is somebody just here in the dip. That looks an absolute corker of a spot, that does. So I've just had to wrap up a little bit. It's getting a bit chilly up here. The wind's coming in as well, which is making it bad. But we're still just chilling out here, admiring the view. And I still think that these guys over here are smoking green because, uh, yeah, I can smell it. But if I turn the camera around, there's a few more wild campers turned up as well. It's getting like a bloody Heathrow airport up here. And the footpath for just coming across the lake is the footpath for coming across the lake is just here. And there's just been a lady and a gentleman that have just passed us, probably my similar age to me, and the tent the lady was carrying, it was huge. It was like one of these family camping tents. Um not really sure where they've pitched up, but it was huge. And if she's come up Cadet Ridge just carrying that, I salute you, madam. But on a recommendation of John, thank you ever so much, Squire. Look at that for a view, though. Cader Idris, come and visit. So tonight's choice for tea, courtesy of my little one, is macaroni cheese. So we'll get tucked into this. First time I've tried this one, so we'll see what it's like. And then, yeah, we'll... Uh... Sounds nice. I'll give you the verdict on it after. So I'm just waiting for my meal to rehydrate. So as you've just seen, it's macaroni cheese. Leading on to that, um, if you haven't really bought off the Fell store yet, head on over to the Fell store where they can offer a nice 15% discount using the discount code DAVEOUTDOORS15 where you're going to get 15% off any purchase. It's better if you buy in bulk though. And I know John, he's he's bought, he's spent quite a considerable amount of money with the Fell store. So John, what have you got for tea tonight, mate? I'm on, um, I'm on beef stew with pear barley tonight. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be good. So we'll see, it's the first time I've tried it. So, ladies and gents, I don't know if you'll be able to see me, but uh, it's getting quite late now. Still a little bit light. You might not be able to pick it up on the GoPro, but we're just sat now by Linkow, ready for our last beer. And that'll probably be, I'll probably do a little bit in the tent later on, but what an absolute epic trip it has been so far. Absolute killer, as you've probably seen coming up on the, uh, up the steps there. But uh, we made it, took our time coming up. And obviously we're graced with these... Uh, Lovely views, we've got Cadet Ridges just up here. Well, ladies and gents, it is that time again. It's been a fantastic evening and it's time for me to go to bed. So the time is 20 past 10, that's all. But I feel a little bit zonked. 
So I'm going to hit the sack. I've got to be up early in the morning. I've got to get back home. More DIY to be done. This evening has been great. I've been down on the little pebble beach down here on Linkow on Caddo Ridges with John. Had a cracking evening, cracking jokes, good bit of banter. So yeah, it's been uh, overall a cracking evening. But time for me to go to sleep and I'll see you lovely lot in the morning. Good night. is quarter to six good night's sleep wind picked up in the night just having a quick coffee in the vestibule oat bar for breakfast we've both got to be back pretty sharpish this morning so we'll uh, we'll have a coffee have an oat bar and then slowly pack away but it's going to be a lovely day again today have a look right behind me And so, as always, leave no trace. No trash, no trace. Anyway, we're uh, good camp, we've all finished now. And we're about to make our way back down to the car now. 